Pillars of Eternity continues. Welcome back to more Pillars of Eternity. Let's head to Kadnua. We haven't been since we originally usurped that location as our own. And I'd like to check I out don't these know new this places. History, but I feel confident saying it must have seen better times. That's okay. We're going to fix it up. Look like you're going to keep this hat until we need to do battle. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, buddy. Do you need any of these simple spells, big guy? Like mirrored image? I can see these coming in to help. Why not? Get that back for the price of the grimoire. Got a seven suggesting we swap uh, uh, amulets with Durance and Eddar. Durance will now have some more Durance and hopefully stay alive as a priest longer. And Eddar will gain better healing benefits from Durance and everyone else. Being the tank, that's probably a good switch. Plus, it also helps with his reflex. I believe reflex is a direct roll against uh, dodging any kind of melee attack. It might be missile attack. Um, I'm sure there's a way I can figure this out. There we go. So reflex uh, allows a dodge all the way. Physically harmful AOE attacks. Explosions, bolts of lightning. Defined by the character class level, dexterity, and perception. Okay, so this is the dodge out of range spells and AOE attacks. Fortitude is against uh, this is the internal physical systems. This protects against uh, poison, disease. Then we have will, which protects against mentally based attacks, spells, other things like that. Uh, deflection, wherever the fuck that went. Deflection is the defense used to resist direct melee and range attacks. The deflection is what we want to get up for all of our front front characters. Not to be confused with uh, damage reduction, which obviously just takes directly away from the damage done. A few terms that uh, it definitely benefits you to kind of learn. So way out here is the Warden Lodge. That's what I want to go to. I think besides the the Barbican, the Eastern Barbican, that's all we've completed. We still have. Bailey? Did I fucking purchase that on accident? I must have. <laughs> uh, the barracks and the dungeons are completed. Or maybe I went for the Bailey. Maybe the baby Bailey's automatic next? I don't know. But obviously, it's a good thing to get because it requires... Or it's just the prerequisite for a lot of other buildings. So we have the prison... Or excuse me, the dungeons and the barracks are completed. The Warden's Lodge, obviously. The main keep. Bright Hollow. Eastern Barbican. Still need to do the Western Barbican. Working on the Bailey. Uh, necessities for keeping the stronghold self-sufficient. That sounds good to me. 
Uh, we can start to build onto the walls as well. It's pretty cool. Pretty pleased with the way the strongholds turned out so far. I remember when the Kickstarter was going and we were all kind of shitting our pants because it didn't look like we were going to reach it. And right at the end, I think we actually reached the stretch goal by PayPal backers or something. I don't even think it was made during the actual campaign itself. I can't remember, though. Good day, stranger. The grizzled old man takes a puff from his pipe and nods at you. I was wondering when you'd be dropping by. Kith around here have been hit with more than their share of trouble of late. I'm up to my ear in bounty office. Figured at least one of these might interest someone with your skills. What are the most recent bounties? Now I ought to warn you, there's a reason these bounties are still on offer. They're tough bastards, every one of them. If you're not up to it now, feel free to come back around when you're better prepared. In the meantime, here's a good batch to start us off. There's a standing bounty on Sly Curdle's head, of course. Then there's the Forest Lurker haunting the trade routes and this Ogre Shaman and should fetch a good price. And up, this is the last one. Ah, War Chief Iklak. Tell me about Sly Curdle. This bounty comes all the way from New Hilmar. Sly Curdle and some of his accomplices have escaped the prison there and killed two Justicars on the way out. The gods are itching after revenge. A man matching the description was seen near Magrin's Fork. He's well armed, and he'll have friends with him, too. Tell me about this forest lurker. Let's see. Where it is the big forest lurkers taking up residence in the Black Meadow just off the main road? The merchants have been calling it the Dweller, and they want it gone before it starts chewing on their caravans. I'll take on this ogre. That one's keep making its rounds, nar and wise some kind of ogre shaman. They say he's raided a half dozen farms all over Deerwood. Word is he's holed up somewhere in Elmshore, though nobody who went looking has been seen since. What about this war chief? War chief Hicklack? Oh, his is Syrup. The name didn't tip you off. He moves around a lot, but it's known to haunt the Valewood from time to time. Folks want him dealt with before he takes up with a dragon. Cool! So, again, another beautiful, what I think is a beautiful addition to this already amazing game. You get these bounties with these unique uh, characters, monsters, creatures, whatever. And they are always uh, accompanied by their, you know, other companions. Uh, I don't think there's any of these. Well, in this first batch, I actually, you know, I looked it over, of course, because I was like, hmm, bounties, let's check this out. It sounds fun. So, yeah, we can... Uh, do these bounties hunt them down where they're located kind of gives you the last scene on where they were uh, spotted at Magrin's Fort so there's uh, some more fun stuff to do we might go check out one of these see how difficult they are Bounty the Dweller they're just giving us all the bounties I didn't even think to check to see if there was uh, possible stuff to steal in there. I don't know. Sorry, bitch. I don't like it when I cut the characters off, but when they start talking right away, kind of hard to deal with. It. One glass eye and several teeth are missing from the school deer head. Yeah, those those crazy, nasty vampire bastards. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. That would be all of our servants. Our workers. The people getting paid for it.
A Sagani and a Tumak. Wilderness of the Deerwood rambles on behind the house. Guessing this is where all, all our NPCs kind of have their own little rooms. Here's Kana. I think this is where we can kind of store their shit, if anything. You're being hunted by the leading key! So it seems it's all rather absurd. What harm could I possibly do to them by finding this text? Perhaps they don't like Ryutai. Alright, well we can't we don't have time to talk right now, buddy. We have shit to slay. Brook Hollow, where my homies lay their heads. Need to renovate the bottom floor. Still looks like shit. It's very nice. We're not sleeping here, are we? Why you guys keep coughing shit on my stronghold? Back up! Beats the hovels you live in. My lord, you've received a letter. Delivered with some urgency as it happens. I thought the messenger might swoon, poor dear. It's from Stalwart. Apparently the mayor, Renengild, has heard of your success here at Cadnua, and hopes you can be of aid to her people as well. What does Renengild want? Stalwart is a mining community, and at one time they enjoyed a great deal of influence. Renengild hopes to reclaim old glories, I expect. It seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. What is Durgan's battery? The dwarves of the battery fashioned Durgan steel, and with it they crafted the finest arms and armor the Deerwood has ever known. But the keep has been abandoned for centuries, and none remain that know their secrets. There are many legends concerning the battery. As the Earl told it, the dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the battery to further his or her own ambitions. Greed and cruelty brought down the battery, and now the spirits of those same dwarves roam the halls. Whatever happened, the battery has been impenetrable ever since. A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. I do enjoy vast amounts of wealth. I'm sure the wonders of the battery are a marvel to behold, but if the passage through White March were to open again, it would be a boon to merchants of the Republics, and of Deerwood, of course. I should mention that among those rumored to have answered Renningild's summons is a certain group, I believe, you may have an interest in. Followers of Woodica intent on reaching Stalwart and the Battery. I do not know what they seek there, but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. Now that I've delivered Renningild's message, there is also a local matter of some concern, my lord. Oh, God! A mercenary band has been sighted to the northeast. 
I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. Consul Hot's one of the greatest wizards of our generation! Aloth fidgets and flutters, facilitating between anxiety and excitement. He appears to be at a loss for words. The Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. It is not that I doubt your courage, my lord, but Consul Hot alone boasts power of a different scale altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Given more time, perhaps, you will match him. If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Cad Nua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lord. Who is this Consul How? Sounds like a dork! A feigned Archmage. I am given to understand that the Brackenberry Sanitarium puts much stock in his work, as regards the manipulation of the soul. His spells are widely circulated. But he is poorly regarded in many circles. Some call him a madman, or else cruel and barbarous. He must be very old by now. Perhaps that is why the Torn Bannermen believe they can best him. What can you tell me of these Torn Bannermen? Little enough, I'm afraid. The Torn Bannermen are well supplied and well organized, and there are rumors that they are backed by an unknown benefactor. They have proved remarkably effective in the past, and they are certainly a threat now. Safe travels, my lord. Later, Biatch! These are our dungeons. Greetings. Greetings, my lord. I'm here to maintain the cells for you. Should you take any prisoners in your travel, I'll make sure they are attended to as you see fit. Nobody is here right now, but I'm sure you'll change that soon enough. I might not. I might just kill everybody because, uh... No mercy. I don't know if there's any benefit of putting them in the cells. Maybe you can interrogate them or... Get funny stories out of them? I'm not sure. You tell me, is it worth keeping prisoners? Or is it going to be better a better evil LP if I just destroy everybody? <sighs> Rod of Wind and Thunder. sure I have anyone that needs that belt. Let's see. We got our, our blunting belt. We got our berserker belt. Well, she doesn't have a belt. She could use plus two constitution. It's my treasury. Oh, sweet. Where's my library? That's where I'm trying to keep all these goddamn books. Gotta give me more than one container. Weak sauce. Weak sauce.
You must gather your party before venturing forth. Maybe once we get our library library rebuilt, we can leave shit here. Until then, Sally forth. I don't know this castle's history, but I feel confident saying it must have seen better times. You guys are smart asses, huh? Of course it is. Let's build more shit. Library, barracks completed, merchant stalls. Upgrades might. Ooh, botanical. Now I'm all about it. Well, we can get the Western Barbican open. We can get right to these other shops. Maybe we should go ahead and get that over with. All right, Lug Lug, I've tortured you enough, sir. God, thank you. No problem. But we're going to keep the hat. We might, You might be wearing it again very soon, very soon. What is it? All right, so here is one of the uh, bounties. The Dweller and some Greater Earth Blights. Probably should have came in a little bit better prepared. Plus, I didn't even rest. <laughs> Alright, well, if I lose this... Oh, man, we got trolls and shit. Dear Lord. Cast my fucking bouncy ball. Endurance is already fucked up. I want to see if I can pull it off. We'll see how strong they are. So do I use this on a creature or on me? I don't fucking know. What is it?
Oh yeah, these dudes are not fucking around. on stone but Is out my sight. I'm hoping that I'm using that the right way. Lots of pausing, obviously, everyone. Hopefully you guys are good with that. You can't really play this game correctly unless you're constantly pausing. And honestly, that's half the fun. I don't know if that's going to work at all. Basically pulling out all the shit, though. Life for me, baby girl. Well. There we go. That's going to change the course of the battle right there. Poor Pally can't heal herself though. And I was too dumb to give her potions. Job. This thing isn't do And there is the watcher. This thing isn't doing the job. Alright, someone's not hurting. 
Zealous focus beat the shit out of that thing. Hold on, I'm looking for something here. I don't see anything that says it's not causing damage. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. Bitch. All right. Took out one of the bounties. Pretty fucking nuked. We have the Dweller's head here. It's a burlap sack. Contains the head of the forest lurker known as the Dweller. I'll hold that! Bounty hunting bitches. Of course. Is that the Magrin's fork? We obviously do need to camp, and we'll just go with straight damage reduction. Well? Holy shit! I don't know who you are. What the f Well... Kinda of evil druid. Got lucky our fighters were in the forefront, that's all I know. What is it? Well? Nice and quiet. It's also time. Whoa! Also time to change out our pig. We have uh, Sly Cardell there with an outlaw ranger, outlaw rogue. They got a goddamn lion on their fucking team. This dude does not look like he's a pushover, but he also looks like he has a magical sword. I'm thinking fireball a bitch. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 So. 
Got him. Got me on that one, you fucking assholes. Oh. Holy shit, these guys are whooping my ass. Coming in hot. These are the uh, the level three, the the third bounty of the four. So, uh, in order, I guess they would be harder than the Watcher, or whatever that guy was, the Dweller. What is it? Um. But yeah, that stuck fucked me all up. I'm still gonna try it again though. Might not be a bad idea to throw down some traps. Of course, can only have one down. Got fucking endurance over here. Why do you gotta look like Galoth? How may I help? I can have multiple down. Save that. Problem is we got their casters over there and we're letting them get away with shit.
Definitely need to take this fucking priest out. Damn it, he just stuck my wizard again. We got some crazy outlaw barbarians on our team. I guess our confusion worked a little bit. Shit, this is no joke. Thing is doing a job. Mega heal. All right, size fucking down. Okay, run for it. <laughs> Man, I think Lug Lug went down officially for the first time in a complete battle. Hey, we got it. Outlaw wizard. Fine robe and fine plate. And Drake's bell, a unique as talk. Of course, I have to let Lug Lug take a little gander at that. And he is now dead. Hey. All 
all kinds of goodies here. Which we will, of course, take. Of course. I shot. Guess that one went off. Lug Lug suffered some frostbite. <laughs> okay. You got froze, motherfucker. What that is, is interesting? All right, that's uh, another one is dead. Beating it up, people. Beating it up. Maybe we can get one more in. Travel to the Veilwood. Now, of course, we can camp again if we feel the need, but we just camped. Besides, how bad can a couple Zora ups be? Do some scouting, sir. We used a lot of spells in the last battle, so this could be rough. Well, first things first, we'll lay down some love. Hope that we catch one of them in it. I'm not sure how traps work. It might be one person per. One trap per person. Good. We have them somewhat in line with our fighters. Throw some good old confusion their way. And blind the shit out of them. Chief, we got some high priest up in here. Bitches.
they consider it on my team because they're confused? It says ally only. Fuck it. Gave these priests a pretty decent ass amount of hit points. Yes. They're all unconfused again. We will attempt to blind the shit out of them. Knock down a motherfucker. Love's going out that war chief. He's dead. Just got gibbed by the Lugmeister. He's gonna swallow the souls of these bitches. Oh, put that in your backpack and suck it. The small, finely crafted figurine of a worm was carved from bone. Though the shape of its crude, it's covered with ornate details such as the scales upon its head and back and the sharp teeth within its maw. Uses once per rest. Rest summons two worms. Sweet baby Jesus. Fuck you doing, man? All right. 
I don't know where all that shit's going. I thought I was dropping it directly in my, uh, my knapsack. Got that white leaf. Throwing all this shit up for now. My paladin and put her in her charge of our summon stuff for now. No real reason. Alright. Still not as much damage as the good old justice. But it does do five, five damage reduction bypass. Three damage reduction burn. Plus five accuracy against beasts and 25 damage against beasticles. Three damage reduction bypass. Pretty damn nice for sure. Make it hit all the more often. Yes, please. Some extra burn damage on it. Now I think it's a worthy sword of the old lug lug. Doing the fine damage, it also does damage against beasts, it does the burn damage, and it's got a lot of damage reduction bypass, so I think it's, it's pretty official we can move to that. However, we have a paladin that likes using great swords, so the best part about this is she can have all my awesome hand-me-downs. Lost 125 copper to bandits? Yes. We need to do something about that, people. back to the Warden Lodge. We have three bounties to turn in. Now the last one is in a place called Elmshore, which we haven't even been to, so we're going to hold off for now. Very nice. We're not sleeping here, are we? You are! Lug Lug, you want to wear that hat some more? Hell no! Come on, put it on, Lug Lug. Let's get it out. You look so cute in it. No! Not wearing it! I don't think you have much of a choice, big guy. I'm in control here. Fuck that! This is the Lug Lug Show! Poor Lug Lug. No! God damn it! Well? I think you look cute in it, Lug Lug. Fuck you! Good day to you. War Chief Iklak is dead! That ought to make the Veil Wood a little safer for time. Here's your reward. So we get exp nice experience for bounties. 
I took down the dweller, too. To the relief of the merchants, I'm sure. Here's the coin they were offering. Sly Colonel's dead, too. I'm like Boba Fett. Good work. They'll be celebrating in New Hamer soon enough. Here's the bounty. Oh, look at that. Some major fucking leveling. Boom shakalaka. Well, let's level. I just realized the dwarf god uh, fucking build that I'm using is uh, like a year old. So there might be better builds now at this point. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations as far as Amua Barbarian builds, let me know. Of course, we made his mechanics up there for story reasons, but... Athletic Second Wind, even more Endurance, of course, is always a good thing. Getting him on Survival and Damage Reduction 2, though, is also a good thing. Let's go with that for now. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth, if there's any kind of story related events that would help with Laura's stealth, but you know, it's not worth pissing away the points in there until you know for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what I have at this point. Unflinching. Unstoppable seems pretty badass. Level eight. Could go with the good old savage attack minus five melee. That might be not a bad idea. Accurate Carnage, the barbarian learns to line up his or her most savage blows, improving accuracy of secondary attacks from Carnage. As the modifier. By adopting the strict discipline of a fighter, the character is able to pace themselves in combat. Eh. I don't know how much that'll actually help. Slow down their melee attack to bypass a portion of their enemy's damage reduction. Apparently, Bull's Will is a great one to take for this build. Plus 10 to Will. I'll go with it. Good old Edder. Either or is good here, Edder. Rapid recovery is probably good for a uh, tank. Superior deflection. I think that's a no-brainer. We'll take the extra plus five deflection right now. Get 
that extra athletics. She's so athletic. Keeping her two-handed style. She does not have that yet. Let's go ahead and give that to her. Need to make her an effective combat machine. Aloth should be good on mechanics for now. He's also probably good on lore for now. So let's just hang on to his points. Some more level four spells. Unfortunately, no level five. This would be great for just casting ridiculous amounts of fireballs now. Gives the caster access up to three free third or lower level spells from the target's spell list. The wizard can subse subsequently cast those spells an unlimited number of times for the duration. Steals three spells at level three or lower. Ah, so I gotta actually get it from a another caster, which is kind of situational. Flame shield might be kind of fun. Also, getting people stuck and then fireballing them is fun. Uh, Hardened Veil, Grimoire Slam, bonus spells. Bonus third level spell always seems legit. One extra fireball, why not? Um, but also getting this, I think, is pretty important. Keeping our mages alive so they can do more damage. Probably when we get to the end of the game, I'll do like a complete respec on everyone. I have to consult with my consultant, Mr. Satan. Uh, Durance, you man, you are lord the fuck out. I'll give you a little bit of both. Empowered interdiction. Plus 10 accuracy. Painful interdiction. Target is weakened. Once per encounter. For 11 seconds. It's Spire Flame plus 10 accuracy. Aggrandizing Radiance. Everyone receives less healing. Oh, yeah. Not a big fan of that. Everyone could benefit from superior deflection. No doubt about that. All your different damage reductions versus different things. Got wound biting and field triage. Could be pretty useful. Mm -hmm. 
Not sure what I want to go with for this guy. Grand Slicer Burst of Summer Flame. I feel like this only works on him. Let's go with the buff. Alright, well, I think that's it for this video, everyone. Stay tuned for more Pillars of Eternity.